Thank you very much for staying with us once again and joining us on this channel, Sports 7GH. It's always a great, great pleasure to have you join us for all the exclusive updates and news we bring you here on this particular channel. Thank you very, very much. In this video, the Black Stars coach, new Black Stars coach, Utuado, has released his 26-man squad for the two friendly games we are going to play versus Nigeria and then versus Uganda, all of them in Marrakesh, Morocco. We are going to play those two games in Marrakesh, Morocco. Morocco. Now, the squad is out and there are a lot of new players in the squad. We are going to talk to you about those new players. We are going to discuss the details about all of these new players. How well are they doing for their clubs? Why are they in this particular call-up? You get a point. Good. Now, this is just a friendly game. We are going to play two friendly games. So, it is. it was suspected that we were supposed to have some new players in the blaster squad do you get a point so um having new players is not something bad and then also the ghana football association president ket okreku has revealed that the ghana black stars is under rebuilding <laughs> rebuilding and so we have to do it with some fresh or new names so who are these new players who are part of our squad which teams are they playing for? How good are they? Okay. Um, and how good can they help the Black Stars going forward? We are going to talk to you about all of these. Um, we have a lot of new players, about five, six new players. We are going to talk to you about all of them. Do want to subscribe to the channel. Like this video. Hit the notification bell and select all. Leave your thoughts and comments below in the comment section. If you have any, it's always a great pleasure to have you join us. Thank you very much for staying. Now, just like I revealed to you, Black Stars new coach, Otuado, as we his 26 man squad for the two friendly games Ghana is going to play versus Nigeria and then versus Uganda. Now, this new um, this squad no, has some sort of new players. Now, let's look at the goalkeepers. Two new goalkeepers are in this particular squad. The first goalkeeper we are going to talk about is Frederick Asari. Now, Frederick Asari is a fantastic goalkeeper for Kumasi Asante Kotoko. He's been keeping the post for Kotoko for some time now, but the thing is that he's not a consistent goalkeeper at Kotoko. And that's the reason why a lot of people who follow the Ghana Premier League um, have, re have raised concerns that Frederick Asari is not the best goalkeeper in the Ghana Premier League. So why will you call Frederick Asari? In fact, we have Felix J who is with Mediama SC who has actually gone to play the um, CAF Champions League, the group stages, he qualified to the group stages, played with the likes of Al Ali and the rest. Medema, they won the league last season, he was the best goalkeeper in the league last season. And this season, he's been very competitive. So why didn't we call Felix J? Felix but then Frederick Asari has gotten his first call up to the senior national team, the Ghana Black Stars, and he's going to join the Black Stars for these two friendly games. Um, for me, I think that he's a decent goalkeeper. He's a very, very good goalkeeper. Okay, just that I agree with those who say that Frederick um, Felix J of Mediema SC in the Ghana Premier League should be rated uh, above Fe 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 Frederick Asari. And that's the truth. Because Frederick Asari, one, doesn't have consistency with Kotoko. He hasn't been keeping the post every, in each, uh, each and every game. He hasn't been doing that. Felix J is doing that with Mediema. And Felix J has gone to play a competitive tournament on African soil, which is the um, CAF, um, Champions League group stages. So, Felix J of Mediema should have come ahead of Fre Frederick Asari. Pay everything. But then, they've caught Frederick Asari of Kumasi Asante Kotoko. And I'm sure for the Kotoko fans there. They will be very much happy. Another goalkeeper who is a new player to the Black Stars is David Akologo. Akologo. David Akologo of Club Aurora in Bolivia. Now, this is a goalkeeper who has been also called by the Bolivian national team. So, Bolivia national team called him. And then yesterday, when the Ghana Blaster squad came out, he was also called. <laughs> I don't understand Ghana. Ghana said we are in a funny country. You know that the player has been called by Bolivia. And he's going to play for the Bolivian national team. As I speak to you, he has joined the Bolivian national team campaign. He has joined them. He is campaigning with the Bolivian national team. So, he's not coming to Ghana. Why did you fix his name in it? Why? <laughs> why? Why do we do certain things? But why will you do that? You know that the player has already been called by another national team. If you really wanted the player, you would have called him long ago and not now. So, David Akologo is not coming. He has joined Bolivia and is going to play for Bolivia. So, he has switched nationality. That is the point. He has switched nationality. So, uh, this one here, I don't even know why they added his name to the team. Because his call up to the Bolivian national team came so ma so earlier than this one. I think some one week or so before the call up to the blaster. So, why didn't they know that he's not coming? 
I don't understand. So yes, David Akolo go club away. Me there, I said that if he goes cry, nothing will happen. Ghana, we have a lot of good play uh, goalkeepers. So whether he goes or whether or not, they, nothing will happen to the Black Stars. You get a point. Now, the other new players we are seeing in the squad is um, Nathaniel Aj. He's another new player we are seeing in the squad. He's a player for FC Lorraine in the French league. Ah. Uh, but then he's on loan from um Swedish side Hammer Bay. Hammer Bay. He's on loan from that side to FC Laurent in the French league. And he has never played a game for Laurent since he um, went on loan in the French league. Now, this Nathaniel J player was part of the under 23 team that went to the African Cup of Nations under 23 that we failed to qualify to the Olympic Games. He was part of it. He was part of the team um, as a central defender. He's a central defender. And um, <laughs> Coach Otuado wants to see him again um, over there. So that is it. He plays for SC Lorraine in the French Liga. But then his parents' club or his main club is Hamabai FC in Sweden. And then they've loaned him to FC Lorraine, which he hasn't played any game since joining FC Lorraine, as I'm speaking to you. So we have Patrick Pozzo. He's not a new player, okay? He's a left back um, for um, Ostrava in 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 czech republic okay he came under chris Hutton. he played versus madagascar and he wasn't so good um in that game but then he has been caught again all right so these are the players in terms of the new players in terms of the defenders now if you come to the midfielders that's where i have this exciting player reading about this player i was so so happy that ghana black stars caught him but i don't know if you come and represent ghana because he's an ivorian midfielder his name is mohammed diomande if you listen to the name, you know that it's not a Ghanaian name. Now, Mohamed Diomande played at the Right to Dreams Academy in Ghana here. He was in the Right to Dreams Academy. And then he was graduated to the Nordjylland FC team. So, he, he, they moved him. Just like Mohamed Kudus, Kamal Di Suleimana, um, Ernest Nuyama, Ibrahim Osman. All of them passed through that particular um, route. So, Mohamed Diomande was moved from Right to Dream to Nordjylland okay in 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 austria or what is it denmark denmark all right good in denmark now uh, from nordjylland he was moved or loaned to our uh, rangers so this month of january you know he was loaned to rangers and since joining rangers he has scored two goals for rangers now he's uh, a left attacking winger okay and um, he can play as a winger and then also as an attacking midfielder he's a very creative player who adds goals to his team now with um Nordland, he has 11 goals for them in some very few games not playing as a forward oh he's playing mostly as a midfielder or as a winger and he has already scored 11 goals for Nordland before he was loaned to rangers um in that particular order okay so rangers um came for him and then he has two goals for rangers in just um two goals for rangers in just five games do you hear the point so it tells you that this is a player who has goals to um his 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 campaign all right he has a lot of goals to his campaign so he actually scored 11 goals for rangers in 96 appearances 96 and uh, uh, for nordjylland in 96 appearances he scored 11 goals for them and then in five appearances for rangers he has already scored two goals for them he's on loan um to rangers and he's doing very well we all know the history of right to dream and nordland all the quality players who have graduated from there are doing very very well you get a point so if we get him he played for the ivorian under 23 before he's done that before so i don't know if we can get him but if you are going to get this player i will be so so glad because he adds a lot of creativity to our setup but for muhammad kudus if it's not muhammad kudus we don't have a lot of creativity in our team or maybe ashimeru we don't have a lot of creativity in our team so we have to get this player he's a young player just under 23 years very very young i think 22 years or so and then he's a talented a proper um, player so if you are going to get muhammad diomande i am going to be very very happy with the um, with that one but i'm sure he's going to come all right um maybe the ghana football association they've done their due diligence and they've spoken to him and he has accepted so we are going to monitor their campaign and see if muhammad diomande will join the black stars camp or he will decline that call up now hmm Edmond Ado has come again. Oh, Edmond Ado is doing the squad. Edmond Ado, no, <laughs> you really don't know, but he's doing the squad. 
Ezamwe, but what will you say? He, he he's moved from Resta Belgrade to Sobotica in Serbia on loan, and um, there, there he's playing some more. But Edmonado is back in the squad, so it means that it wasn't Chris Uti, no, it wasn't Chris Uti who was calling Edmonado. Oh my goodness, me Ghana, you have a problem, oh. but he's in the squad, so what, what else can you say? Yes. And other people are saying that look, you said we are going to do rebuilding. Ghana Football Association president Keto Kreku. You are saying we are doing rebuilding. Rebuilding still with Andre De you and the rest. And Baba Idris to Ed Monado rebuilding, and you are still calling these players. Um, it's some way, it's some way. So that's the question people are asking over there. Now let's go to the wingers. We have another new player. Um, who was scored and that is Ibrahim Osman. He has gotten his first call up to the senior national team, the Ghana Black Stars. He has signed with Brighton and Hove Albion. This season he's played for Nordjylland, but then he will move to Brighton and Hove Albion at the end of the season. He's also a winger and also can play as a midfielder, as a number 10 for his side and he's a very, very promising player. If Brighton signs you, it means that you have a lot of future um, over there, Brighton signed Simon Adingra and he's doing exceptionally well in the English Premier League. I'm just praying and hoping that Ibrahim Osman, who is taking the same trajectory as Simeon Adingra, played a right to Dream Academy, went to play for Nordjylland and now moving to Brighton and Hove Albion. I hope that he also would develop into a fantastic and quality player. Um, I think that friendly games, we have to let him know and um, show his, his what he can do. So, Ibrahim Osman is a young, talented player who is going to help Ghana Black Stars in a very long very long run and it is very very important that we've called him to the senior national team the Ghana Black Stars squad so uh, these are the players who are the new players in the squad Ibrahim Osman, David Akologo, Frederick Asare, Nathaniel Ejay um, and then also Mohamed Diomande Mohamed Diomande <laughs> What is your take on the Blaster squad? What is your take on the new players? Are you impressed with the new players who are going to join the Black Stars? For me, um, I think I'm very impressed with Ibrahim Osman. I'm very impressed with Mohamed Diomande. I am not so much impressed with Nathaniel Ejay because he doesn't really bring anything different on board. That's the truth I'm telling you. I'm not so much impressed with him. <laughs> I, I don't know why he brings on board. He's just tall and he's not so solid. Okay. Yes, Nathaniel Ejay. Frederick Asare, he's not going to stay in the Blast House for a long time. So I'm not impressed with Teddy Ted. Uh, we had Danlad Ibrahim, who was also with Kotoko. But right now, Craig doesn't get some to play. Uh, Frederick Asare, I'm not impressed. David Akologo, he's not even coming. So the new players now, Casano, it looks like they are not even going to stay with the Blast House for a long time.